<sighs> Alright, so you have the new topic composite functions. So this is your topic, composite functions. And if you want to know what composite function be, it's simply this is simply a combination of two functions. So that's all composite functions mean. You simply take two two functions and combine them together. So right as so now we have y equal f of x plus g. This by itself, this is what we call a function. So it's where y I go equal to something. Right? Y I go equal to something including x. That's all you mean by a function. So over here so now we can instead of write y equal Instead of right y equal f x instead of right y equal five x plus three, you could also write f of x is equal to five x plus three. So the then two are actually the same thing. So in other words, as you go by, you're gonna either see it being written as y is equal to five x plus three or you're gonna see f of x is equal to five x plus three. Or you will see x such that map onto five x plus three. So in other words, composite functions you know, combine two functions together. Now, the way how you see the function them, you either see it like this, so y equal f of x plus 3, or they might write it as f of x equal to 5x plus 3, or they might write it as this. So all of them three something actually the same. So this, that, and that are the same. So we don't really start the working out yet. These are just examples with some functions. Right? So as the name suggests composite functions, and let's combine two functions together. So let's say we are work with let's choose this one. So right f of x equal to t sorry equal to five x plus t. And let's say we have one other function now, I'm going to name that g of x. You can name anything in about me just choose to name it g of x. is equal to something like um, 3x plus 2. Now, here so now we have two functions. We have f of x equal to 5x plus 3 and now we have g of x is equal to 3x plus, 3x plus 2. Here we have one function and here we have another function. So therefore we can start with the actual working out now which is composite functions. If you can remember earlier, it just you know, combine two functions together. So in composite functions, you can see they write it in such a way like this. So they might write f g of x. Right? So they, they might probably write it as f of g of x. This is what we mean by a composite function. So all this basically means you realize you have f first, then you have g of x second. So all this really means is that you're going to put g of x, this, the same g of x, uh, into f of x. Now, of course, that kind of sound abstract, so I'm going to show you how it means. Alright, so you have two ways of think, thinking about it. You can think about it like, say, alright, you have, and if you put something in a something, right? So, you see the one, the function we are going to put into the other function is the one that's closest to the x. So, because we have g close to the x here, so it means that if you put g of x, into into the function f right all right so again you're going to see the function f of g of x it means you have to put g of x into f if you are probably one that you have to pause the video quick oh, i know man i'm going to back on it so it means you have to put g of x into f right and it means that the one closer to the x that it you put into the other function which is f now we know say g of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and we know say f of x is equal to 5x plus g. So if we write f of g of x, first you need to know where you are doing. And as we say, you have put g of x into f. So that simply means that we need to write the function f first. Now, when I think about putting another function into another function, it simply means you are going to substitute any which part x there. You see anywhere x there, you are going to substitute the other function. So to put g of x into this equation here, so you need to write about this first, but just see any which part of the x then, you are going to put a bracket and leave a space. Then I'm going to tell you how to do that later. So because f come first, you are going to write the 5. So you are going to write 5. Then now you see which part x then, anyway x then are the first function, or the function in front, you are going to put a bracket and just leave a little space. Now, then now, after f, x, now I'm going to put back x, I'm going to put a bracket. Then now I'm going to put 
um the rear side which is plus three so let's put plus three then no you see the space that we are left out uh, this is actually where you are going to put the other function so the other function uh, which was g was 3x plus 2 so that means that you don't even take 3x plus 2 and put it in here so right, 3x plus 2 and then no after you do this it just work it down and you get the answer so if you look closely you actually see this are the distributive and if you a composite function all you do is basically distribution right so you don't need to distribute this 5 by everything here. So this 5, in other words, let me use another color marker. This is a 5 yeah, for multiply by this is a 3x. Yeah. And this is a 5 yeah, again for multiply by the 2. The cat I played my foot. So now you're going to multiply to the top of this right where you're going to. So 5 times 3x is 15x. And 5 times the positive 2 is positive 10. Then you put back a plus two. Then now you see where you can group together and, and solve them. So you put back the fifteen x. Oh, before I close. Now, if I remember the rules of algebra, you always um simplify like terms. So here you have fifteen x. You have a normal ten or a normal thing. So we can add them to you. So I put back the fifteen x because no other x term did So I put back the fifteen x by itself. Then now you add these two. 10 plus 3 is 13. And it finishes off. So f of g of x would be equal to 15x plus 13.